I got caught using the skill saw, not the chainsaw. <clears throat> pretty cloudy and I got freezers running so I thought I'd start the little generator up and just making some gussets for uh, the rafters so we're just going to try and get a measurement see what we can do here on here but it's going to be about a three and a half three and three quarter inch to the foot so about a three and a half to twelve pitch not overly steep uh, and you'll see a, got a pile over in the corner there what I'm using for rafters and that's uh, actually uh, got a really good deal on some two by eights well, I mean, it's only a 16 wide building, but uh, it could be done with 2x4s very easily, but 2x8s, so they're going to be pretty strong. We'll get the rest of these cut up, and we'll get back with you. Out for a little trail ride. Check out the dam we've been digging out here. Beavers have been causing some problems. Yeah, it looks like it's still running okay. Yeah, it was in. Look at out, so water's dropping. Get rid of all this algae. We had that big rain earlier, so the creek was actually pretty much dried right up. And uh, so, get back out my little trail here. I kind of usually don't bring the wagon in the bush here with me, but I'm taking a couple of timbers over to my neighbor's there. He gives me a hand and seeing where I was loading the logs so just uh, he's doing a little work there so take them to him and see if we can get back out of the bush here
support. I mean these trusses don't need a lot of fancy dancy stuff. It's only 16 feet wide so now once you get into 20 then you need extra supports and stuff like that but um, you put gussets on them the same way. Gusset is. If you don't know what a gusset is stay tuned and we will show you in a couple minutes here. Right here. See that? To put a a truss together. If you're 16 feet, you should have a brace in the middle. The little guy here is going to go right there at the bottom. It'll be stapled on. This guy goes right there. We'll get stapled on. And you see I got the angle ones laid here. And so I usually just uh build them. I like to put a either a big nail or I'll probably put a four-inch screw in here. And then there'll be just one screw. And then this will go on with a bunch of staples. I might show you, but I I use quite a few. And then this end, same thing. Um, that just goes on. Uh, I'm gonna stay back a little bit there, and that will just get stapled right onto there. And when that's on there, basically that truss is finished. It is ready to go on the roof once it's stapled on. So I just made a little jig on the floor. I screwed these down. So they can't move, so every board I cut, when I put them in here, if I miscut something, it's not going to fit, so I will know right away. So, that pile right there, yeah, and they're 2 by 8 so I know some people might just kind of look and say, well, you're wasting lumber, don't need 2 by 8s for rafters, but looks good and it'll be strong. So that's uh, that's all we're we're going to be able to really work on here today. Well, well just uh, hot outside, so come in the shop, work on that a little bit, and uh, we we'll get putting it all together. We'll show you where it's going. Stay tuned. You can see I planted a few here in uh, early July and uh, they look like they're gonna take hold. They started to die and then that's usually what happens and then the tops they're growing some new Now I dug a lot of plants and I was told <clears throat> to uh, before, I mean depends on the time of year, but if you bury this it will shoot up a runner 
wherever there's a leaf, it will shoot up a runner. So we got a lot of plants for a little row here. But I think we're going to just bury that. Just see how thick a patch comes there in the spring. Likewise, we're going to just do the same thing. So we want to get a really nice thick patch of raspberries going. Now well, maybe we'll be able to tell this fall. That's what I'm going to do. So right or wrong, okay? this is, I like to try new things. And uh, so. I'd like to just leave the top. Some of them stick up a little bit. That's the name of the game. See the odd branch. The roots down low. Take a little branch. If you're a gardener and you want to share with me the best ways that you found transplanting raspberries, I'd like to hear from you. I watch a lot of videos and I know everybody does things a little bit different. Hopefully we'll remember and we'll try and get back to this before too late this fall and uh, see if we see some new growth. You know, I just like to you know, pack it in to hold the moisture. There. See some of these others I planted. Uh, come back from the roots. Some of them uh, kind of died and they come back to life. So some of these should have some raspberries on them next year. And hopefully them ones too. We'll see how strong they come back. Or if I just killed them. But that's uh, it's just what I do. You know, I have lots that keep spreading out there. So if these ones die, I'll just go dig up some more and I'll transplant them ones and hopefully I'll have better success next spring. So one more little project done. And here, trapping. Last stages of uh, getting the trusses put, all the uh, prefabbing done. So we just cutting our angles here on both ends. So we've marked this one. We've got 15 more to go. I'll mark them, cut these off here, and the other end just gets a little 
little bit cut off the corner. So I'll make 16 of these. This will be, uh, you know, that angle at the top. And this angle here, this is going to be the bottom. This will be the overhang. So just a part of the, the trusses. So we'll get at it and we'll show you what we have done when we get there. Well, we got some helpers here today, so we are going to have a wall rising party. We'll try and capture a little bit for you. First, first off, eh? Well, the walls are up. You can see behind me. They're all standing. Yipper. We're just going to do, uh, it's pretty much squared up. We just got to put the big uh, header across there. I'll get that built the next couple days. And, uh, and then we'll start putting some trusses together. So. We'll catch you later. Catch you later. Yes. Walls are up. But I need a beam to go from here across to join up over there. And I need it 17 feet long. And my mill only cut 16 feet. So we're going to get creative in a little bit. And we're going to make it cut 17 feet. So we have to go find a tree big enough. <laughs> Is he bugging you, Ginger? <laughs> oh.